Hey guys, it's Kiara from Kiki's Chic Keys. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the Legome Guide to a Healthy Work-Life Balance. The word Legome means not too little and not too much. It's the Swedish art of living a balanced, happy life which is something we truly believe in here at Kiki's Chic Keys. I truly believe living a healthy, balanced life is the key to a happy and fulfilled life. So in this video, get ready to learn how Swedens stay happy and healthy at work. When it comes to work, Swedish people are not sitting on the clock all day waiting to go home. It's quite the contrary. They are hardworking and incredibly focused. After all, Sweden is the home to some of the most innovative companies in the world, including Spotify, Skype, and Ikea. In this culture, Swedish people tend to spend more time on valuable things such as family, friends, and doing things you enjoy. It allows time for errands and other everyday chores, which makes you feel more organized, less stressed, and happier. In Sweden, working late is usually met with general concern. Managers even start to question if you've been given too heavy of a workload and a series of meetings may occur. It's safe to say in Sweden, reducing your working hours can boost productivity. Now let's take a deeper look into the Swedish people and their legom way of working. The general working day usually starts at 8 a.m., with school starting at 8.15. The Swedish people find that waking up earlier can give more of a creative and productive day. They are not alone in this thinking, as many people wake up early as well. Many successful people, such as the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, who famously wakes up at 3.45 a.m. to get a head start on emails. Michelle Obama begins her daily workouts at 4.30 a.m. And former Xerox CEO Ursula Burns rises at 5.15 a.m. The Swedens also believe in taking breaks. In particular, they practice something called the art of fika, which is basically a break with a coffee and a small treat. It can be an informal catch-up with a colleague, prompted by a simple, shall we have coffee at 10? Giving yourself a break is key for the Swedens. Taking the time to indulge in a sweet treat or a coffee can give you a nice break throughout your workday. Also, studies show that when they take early breaks, such as in the morning, they are able to concentrate better, be more motivated, and they're less likely to report symptoms of a bad back, headaches, and pain. They also believe in not skipping your lunch. Lunch is taken incredibly serious. They are eaten in restaurants and they're usually warm and substantial. They also take their time. Taking a proper lunch break has been found to have numerous positive effects, such as boosting productivity, creativity, energy, concentration, and alertness in the afternoon. Plus, it helps them connect with people around them. Now we're going to discuss things that they do at lunchtime 
When they're done eating, they love to get their blood pumping with the power walk or a jog. They also love to meditate. Finding a quiet spot to practice meditation is amazing for helping them relax. They also indulge in the arts, such as visiting a nearby gallery or a museum. And they even go on dates. Now we're going to discuss how they can revive their workspace. The environment can have a significant effect on your well-being and your work. Swedish architects are famous for drawing natural light into buildings. That's why they love getting a seat near the window. They also make sure they work in proper temperatures. In Sweden, interiors are well insulated and they make sure they feel the best they can in any weather. They also make sure that they're comfortable, making sure you have a nice chair to sit in, as well as the right office equipment is key. Now we're going to discuss what the Swedens do after work to disconnect and enjoy their life. After work, Swedens are prone to getting a nice drink with co-workers or friends. They also make sure they turn off their phone for downtime, giving yourself a break from work calls and emails is something they truly believe in. They also practice annual leave. If there's something that the Swedish takes serious, it's annual leave. Anyone who works with a client in Sweden will know. And there you have it. This is the Legom Guide to a Swedish Work-Life Balance. How the Swedish practice a balanced, happy life, and incorporates that in their work and their life. Hopefully, you were able to grab some key tips in this video and apply them to your own work-life balance. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Have a great day, and I'll